Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. My name is Len Moleko, and we're coming at you from Cuba Lounge out in Midrand at Sandridge Village. And you know how we do it. Every Friday, we sit down with the black business, and they tell us what they do. Whether you are selling the pots or you're finding the pots, <laughs> you do makeup, you do fashion, you do whatever. As long as you're in business, just hit us up. Our email address is podcast at thisismcg.com. Otherwise, drop us a WhatsApp. Our number is 081-474-0632. And that is exactly what the gentleman who's sitting next to me did. And he's about to tell us what his business is about. Yeah, man. Yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bro. Cool. So <clears throat> tell our viewers uh, your name and what do you do? Uh, I don't want to take the shine away from you. I want you to, like, get the shine, you know? Okay. Uh, my name is Trevor Rakaki from Kota Central. Uh, Kota Central is the, is the restaurant, but we specialize in quarters and chips and everything. We're based in Calfontaine, just a few steps away from Midrand. So, yeah, that's what we do. That's what we specialize in. Just across the highway. Yeah. So, why did you decide to get into the business of Kota? Let's just get there, because... When somebody goes into the catering business, everybody's looking at going full scale with like 10 course meals and desserts and whatever. But you decided to go the Kota route. Why? Uh, I saw the gap at the, at the Kota industry, especially where I stay. All right. And uh, since I was staying in Soweto for almost seven to eight years, when I relocated to this place, yeah. Then I was struggling to find the best quarter. I was struggling to get proper meal. You know, like, you know, sometimes when you're from work, you just want to grab something on the go, you see. So that's why I said, like, I did some research and I found out there was no place with a kick as quarter. So I decided to, to open one myself and, yeah, and it's working out. So when you got into the business of... Uh the, the catering business, let me call it that, or a restaurant. Yeah. Did you decide that, okay, I'm going to quit my job and do this, or did you do it concurrently with working and decided, you know what, the Kota business is working for me, so I'm going to go with it and then just quit my day job? The plan was not to quit a day job. Uh, actually, I was working night shift. Yeah. I was working for a well-known towing company. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do meet them across every robot. Y- yes, yeah, so, yes. <laughs> but I was working night shift only. Yeah. So during the day, I was maintaining the shop. Yeah. So at some point, it became lots of work for me because yes. I'll come back tired from work and I have to promote and meet potential clients and this and this and this so that's when i decided i have to choose one yes then i had to choose myself i have to choose quarter central over everything so that's when i started putting more energy more work at quarter central that's when the delivering part came yeah. and everything because we wanted to be more like your ordinary fast food outlet that yes. delivers for you yeah i think now yeah so we we're trying to match that standard. We're trying to be on that same scale, even though we can be two steps behind them, but we just want to be the competitors. We want it to be the pain in their necks and everything, and it's working out. And, and you realize something that, I mean, with the, a lot of fast food restaurants, it's, you, you pay so much money for not that much, and you look at a quarter, and you pay so little money, and the offering is so much. And speaking about that, I found the names of the different quarters that you have very interesting because <laughs> I've, 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 gone, I've gone across a number of townships in the country and you'll get people calling quarters like Machiti I, some people calling them with celebrity names, but you decided to go a different route. Tell us about the route that you decided to take. Yeah, Len, <laughs> it was difficult coming up with the names. We didn't want to be ordinary. Yeah. We wanted to be extraordinary. Yeah. So we wanted to set the benchmark very high so that no one can come, no one can bring us down and everything. Yes. So with the havoc that was happening during that time of Ubaba yes. and the people who were controlling, pulling the strings and everything, then we decided... Yeah, let's go with the cabinet a little bit. So then, yeah, 
So we decided to to name our quarters according to the cabinet and the ministry and about who's powerful and who and everything. As you can see, the first quarter goes with Gwede. Yeah. At that time, it was about his influential in the politics that time. He was not that much influential yeah. and everything. Then the last one, which is the most expensive with everything, is Gupta. Yes. So that one basically has everything. So the Guptas had their hands in every cookie jar that they can put their hands on. So if you are eating a Gupta, then... <laughs> <laughs> you are captured. <laughs> yeah. No, man, that's, that's fresh. So in terms of your pricing, um, how competitive is it with the different... Because I know you've got a Gupta, which is the most expensive. You've got uh, a Baleka as well, if I'm not mistaken. You've got uh, Manusi, Balula. Mbalula, Kwete. How competitive <clears throat> is the pricing compared to, obviously, the research that you've done and all the other competitors that are there? Uh, basically, our pricing came with the ingredients on the quarters. Yeah. So we had to we had to sit down and do the cost things and everything, like break down the bread. If we cut our bread into these pieces, then how much are we getting per bread? Yeah. At this kg of kilos of chips and the price of one slice of cheese and this and this and labor and everything, that's when we decided to come with our prices. Like, as I said, uh, with Gwede, that's the most... Uh, Oh, that's, the, that's our the, cheapest yeah, quarter. That's entry our entry level. level. Yes, yes uh, it doesn't have a lot of things yeah. that much. So it's basically for your for your school kids and everything. For yeah. those who've got like 20 bucks in their pockets and everything. Then goes all the way to the Gupta. The Gupta contains everything from your ham, your bacon, beef your petty. cheese, your beef patty, yeah. your ration, your viana and everything. So it's more like a two days meal. Like it's a two course meal on its own. <laughs> because yeah. if you eat a Gupta... On a single bite, then you the king. Yeah, you so, pretty much like you're gonna be sitting there on some. Yeah, yeah. So I'm back full. to your question again. Uh, you mentioned something about this uh, outlet, the other outlets yes. that are well established. You pay so much for a single thing, and it doesn't even last you for the whole day. But with a quarter, you can you can eat it once a day, then you sort it out. Yeah, you pretty much full for the whole day. Yes, and. What I've noticed as well is you, you have a relationship with a certain distributors. Uh, in this case, we'll speak about Tesco. they obviously the main ingredient of a quota in terms of them providing bread. And you also have a relationship with Meatwell. Just give us a breakdown in terms of how you got into those and how beneficial are they in the business that you, that you do? Uh, we wanted, we wanted a, a company that uh, supports black business yeah we wanted a company that will give back to the community yeah so we wanted the quality as well yes we wanted someone where who yeah who can take a blame in case of if everything happens like in the case of listeriosis yes so just to highlight it a little bit so yeah we are basically working with south they are the ones who are supplying us with bread then we've got uh meat world here yeah they are the ones who supplies of the pollutory or rations beggars and everything so yeah we wanted to use the best for the best of course of yes. course and just before we get out of here and you actually give us details with regards to where people can get hold of you and how they can ask or make orders of uh, melusi or uh, balula or a gupta tell me something i saw something interesting i came across on social media what's your relationship with Litolonian? And I'm talking about Renilo Lutsulonyani, yeah, the Super Sport United midfielder, former Bafana, former Kaze Chiefs. Uh, we were attending an, an annual quarter event in Soweto. Yeah. Before that time, we hadn't opened the quarter central yet. We were still doing the research. We yes, were still yes. trying to find our feet and the do's and the don'ts, you see, like on what to do. So we happened to bump into them. And since I, I'm a sports lover and we asked for a picture and they were a cool couple, they, they agreed to take a picture with us. And so, yeah, today I decided, like, ah, man, let's just send a shout out to them and everything. Oh, no, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yes. And uh, we love them for my boy as well. Oh, Mpoli on our podcast and chill. Do check out her episode. It's uh, somewhere on our videos. And before we get out of here, somebody wants to order. How do they get a hold of you? Number and how far do you deliver? And what do you offer? Uh, 
to get hold of us, we are available available on Instagram. It's quarter central. Uh, it's quarter underscore central. On Twitter, it's also quarter underscore central. Facebook, it's also quarter underscore central. To check out our specials, our monthly promotions with your Sasco, with your AI, AI, and the other brands that are on board with us, we are also available. We also you can also place an order with a call as well yeah. uh, on zero seven three six eight seven four four zero one. I'm gonna repeat the number again. It's zero seven three six eight seven four four zero one. To go back to your question, lastly about deliveries. Yeah, we deliver around Calfontaine, around Ebony, around Midrand, Corporate Park, Samrand, Kayalami. We have found a gap in wood meat. Oh, the yeah. people in wood meat, they are complaining about the food, that the food is expensive and yeah, everything. Yeah. So we have had like four or five orders so far and everything. So we are branching out and yeah. It's coming along nicely. Yeah. So in, in, in terms of the orders, do you do a single order? Can you order for a company having a, a team building exercise or having meetings or how, how, how far or how big? can the orders be in terms of whoever wants to place one we don't have a uh, start, or starting from a delivery fee uh, a delivery point we only deliver if the order is 100 rand and above okay so we can't deliver something for 18 rand in wood meat it's yeah gonna, it doesn't make sense it, it, yeah. it doesn't make any business sense uh, as uh, when it comes to the maximum we don't have a maximum it can be 100, it can be anything. We, we will, we will, so I can we'll buy for the order. whole soccer team? You can buy for the whole soccer team, but if it's going to be like 40 to 50, you have to give us uh, in advance so we okay. can order more bread and prepare and everything. So then we sort it. All right, cool. So in terms of people getting to where you are based, where are you based? We are based in California, near ShopRite uh, and uh, engine, engine fuel stop or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. All right, cool. Make sure you check them out. Quarter Central. I've, I've had one of their quarters. I actually had a Gupta. Yeah, best believe I was captured, man. So mm. do check them out. The details are going to be on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, make sure you support yeah. Black Business like we are doing. This has been another episode of uh, Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. My name is Len Moleko. And don't forget, if you want to promote your black business, it's very easy, man. Drop us an email. Our address is podcast at thisismcg.com. Otherwise, uh, drop us a WhatsApp. The number is 081-474-0632. And we will see you on the flip side. Till then, ciao, ciao. Podcast and Chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.